Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven Asado, inventor of the B-Raft, and I want to wish you guys all a happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you're, you know, getting ready for a nice Thanksgiving. Drama-free, no, <laughs> no arguing with friends or family. Don't overeat. That's easy. <laughs> That's real easy to do. And uh, enjoy your weekend. Have something to be grateful for. Um, doesn't matter how big or small like I'm grateful at this point in my life I've been working on video and media for so long. I have all the software and got equipment and uh, I make these videos so a lot of people uh, you know can't do it and in this time and age where YouTube is so big and TikTok and all TikTok and all that is going on uh, I'm able to just crank them out so that's something to be thankful for um, before I forget, please like and subscribe to the channel, and uh, that way I'll have even more to be thankful for. So, right on. <laughs> and I'm also challenging myself this year or this video to see uh, how many times I don't say um because <laughs> I found in past videos I'm like saying um, um, so yeah, um, every uh, 10 seconds or 15 seconds or so. So, <laughs> let's not do that. Okay, and actually this video, it's about bees and, and you know, the foods they pollinate that we use for Thanksgiving. Um, I'm not gonna do a big backstory on how it started, just because, uh, you know, hol or Thanksgiving isn't really a pretty holiday. Uh, turned into genocide of Indians <laughs> all over the country, so there's that, but one thing I do want to say is like, I do affiliate marketing and I'm not, you know, buy this, buy that, all in your face about it. But I am using stock video footage from Envato Elements and there's an affiliate link and they're doing, you know, like most companies are doing uh, deals for Black Friday. So you can click on the link below and they have all types of things for guys like me, like I'm a media person. So they have streaming backgrounds, they have um, they have website templates, they have stock videos, they have stock footage, they have motion graphic templates. Pretty much anything you can want to use. Illustrations, they have files for Photoshop, Illustrator, 3D, Studio Max, 3D, what is it, Cinema 4D. So, um, and one of the great things about Envato, you don't see a lot of companies doing this, and this is a true story. I'm doing month to month on my membership, and I'm supposed to get paid Friday direct deposit but um, my my uh, membership was due last week and they sent me three notices saying hey you you know we can't bill you blah 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 well I'm still able to download stuff I mean what company lets you do that that's that's really cool on their part so big shout out to Envato and uh, yeah sign up for their deals their memberships it's a great site and you can get a lot of uh, great footage and like I said, a bunch of assets for video and media, as well as music and songs and sound effects too. So uh, that's always cool. Um, all right, well, Thanksgiving, you know, it started in the 1600s, 16, around the 1620s. No one's really set on the date, uh, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. But that's when the first English settlers showed up and what happened was they were offshore and it was during the winter and like half the people died. Well, the Wampanoag tribe, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, they're the Indian tribe that was up in that part of the country at the time. And if you've heard the name Squanto, he's like the head Indian guy that uh, he convinced his friends and his family to help the pilgrims so they decided to help them learn how to live on the land. They learned them, taught them how to, uh, they learned them. <laughs> they taught them how to grow food and taught them how to survive the winter. And that's why the pilgrims and the Indians started Thanksgiving. When the uh, crops started harvesting, they were giving thanks for being able to stay alive and all that. So uh, that's actually how the first Thanksgiving came about. Well, on those ships, were the first bee settlers from England. And that's where 
the bees from there, from uh, England, met their cousins here. Um, over here we have the honeybees, and they met uh, leaf cutter bees and uh, mason bees, squash bees, and mining bees. So, I mean, there's other pollinators, but, you know, we're talking about bees. So, so some of the foods that bees pollinate that you're having this year that you've had over years, bees pollinate almonds. They pollinate apples, apple pie, you know, that kind of thing. They pollinate cherries. They pollinate coffee beans. And, you know, if you're going to be surviving Thanksgiving Day, you're probably going to have coffee a couple times. So bees did that. Um, they pollinate cranberries. They pollinate pumpkins. And uh, there's another video for pumpkin pie that you can check out. Uh, those are squash bees that do that. They also pollinate onions, celery, and Brussels sprouts. So, um, you know, <laughs> bees have a big hand in all the food that we eat for our traditional holidays. Now, something else that I'm just going to put in there. Uh, bees do not pollinate the actual grapes. They pollinate the plants the grapes grow through, if that makes sense. So they do like, they plant the, the plants, they pollinate the plants where grapes grow on the grapevines that provide coverage for the grapes. So we have wine because of that. So, and I know a lot of you are doing a lot of wine this Thanksgiving, I am. Uh, I'm not waiting for Thanksgiving though. <laughs> I'm a wine guy. So uh, yeah, so bees, you know, hook us up in all kinds of ways and that's why we need to save them. Pretty important. Um, there's about 3,600 species of native wild bees in the US right now but uh, they're declining big time because of habitat loss and pesticides, uh, friggin' murder hornets, poor nutrition, climate change, all that stuff. So just think about, you know, hopefully you're thankful for many things, but we need to be thankful for bees and we need to help save bees. If you could start bee rafting, it's a simple way to save bees. Um, all you do is uh, get a bee raft, put it in the water, and let it do its thing. If you have bird baths, ponds, fountains, swimming pools, uh, bee, bee rafts attract bees to it and they can land on it and they can drink water and they don't get their wings wet and they don't drown. So, you know, I consider that a big plus. So, <clears throat> if you want to do something cool for Thanksgiving, do that. Please watch the What's a Bee Raft video to find out more about bee rafts and how they work. If you want to start bee rafting now and you're ready for something bigger than just recycling, uh, just click on the link below and it'll take you to my Etsy shop where I'm selling bee rafts. Also the website, we're on Facebook, you know, all the social media thing. So as always, have a great Thanksgiving. Um, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button. And, uh, Tune in again next week and I'll have some more content for Christmas because that's pretty much on the way. Take care.